look at direct variation of problems. And here's one that will speak to you about earning some money. Aaron earns $48 for a six hour shift at Moe's. The amount of money he earns varies directly to the number of hours he works. Okay, so what is, what is depending on the other? Well, the money depends on how long you work. So the money or your output is your Y and your six or your working hours is gonna be the X or the input. Now we need to know the direct equation for variation. And that is equal is y equals k times x. And that's your skeleton formula. Now what we have to do is figure out what our constant is given this situation. Well, since y depends on x, I'm going to put 48 in for my y value. And I'm going to put my hours worked in for my x value. And k is my constant I've got to solve for. So I've got 40x equals 6 times k, or k times 6. So to solve for that, I divide both sides by 6. Okay, so now I'm going to get 8 is equal to k. Okay, and remember, this is in terms of money. So now my constant is k, and I can take that 8 and go back to the original equation and plug in 8 right here for k. So my equation is going to be y equals 8x. Now, let's look at our new situation. We found the constant K, so we've done that part. Now we need to find the amount of money he can earn on Saturday for his 10-hour shift. Okay, so where did we put the hours? The hours is our X value, so I'm going to take 10 and plug it in for X. So let's go down here. Our equation is Y equals 8X. Our hours are, is x, so let's plug in his 10 hour shift, and we can get out our y value, and so we get y is equal to 80. So that means on Saturday, he can earn $80 for working his 10 hour shift, and that is a direct variation problem.